morning. Very good morning to all. Uh, morning. Uh, thanks, Mr. Zubh Morsa, for motivation that entrepreneurs. I think uh, new things for me. Heard that uh, how to start the company and uh, because we are the researcher actually, we don't know how to start that uh, company. Entrepreneurs, I think it's a well motivated. Uh, thanks for Zubh Morsa. Uh, okay, so. Because I'm not we are the tracer, I'm not an entrepreneur, I am only professors. <laughs> mm. So uh, actually my area and research, I think, uh, I, first of all, I upper, uh, uh, thanks for Paul and Paul team for giving the opportunity for my research career. So um, I'm going to talk about that some reason, uh, idea about that uh, biomaterials. Like, uh, you know, right? Uh, um, in before Christine, I think 18th century before that, we start that medical field, right? You know, right, how my biomaterial starts? Mm -hmm. So the biomaterial starts from uh, 18th century itself, like uh, Lot of implants and uh, you can write start from like uh, your start from your uh, uh, cotton to up to what implant surgery and uh, artificial skin, artificial lung, many things for that in hospital you can go for it made up of biomaterials. But when we want to go for that next level generation like uh, biodegradable materials, that's the thing for now people are focusing on that. I think I know right, you know history like uh, you know right Ratna Tata and uh, Indira Gandhi, formal uh, prime ministers like uh, Many of them, uh, uh, 1996 and 95, uh, they did surgery in London. Because, you know, right, uh, one of the famous uh, hospital in uh, London, they did surgery for implant, like uh, titanium based implant on that. Uh, uh, you know, right, 1996, how much cost for that one surgery? Any idea about that uh, implant surgery? Almost how much for if you replace that implant for orthopedic or cardiac surgery, whatever that? Any idea, guys? 1996. You know, gold cost how much for that? 1996? 1000 to 500 rupees only. So, <clears throat> why I am saying this actually? We don't have facilities for that implant replacement on that India in 96. So, cost is actually around that 50 to 60 lakhs for the replacement surgery in that uh, uh, London. So, the thing is, we don't have that manufacturing unit implants. Everything is not there in that, particularly for the 19th century. So later on that, 2006, we started with that some new company and uh, uh, materials and biomaterials like a Johnson Johnson company, Medicore and uh, whatever the, uh, some of the few company are start that uh, uh, material, uh, biomaterial application. So the thing is why I'm saying the biodegradable material, why we want to biodegradable material because if you've done the surgery, any surgery, like for example, orthopedic surgery or cardiac surgery, what is that actually if you go for implant? So once if we inserted the implant, we cannot remove the implant again for that. Okay. For example, if you have the implant failure, or what will happen actually? Some some any infections or anything else, what we can do, right? We have to go for having division surgery for the implants. Of course. Then cost wise is increasing. So the idea of that biodegradable material, we want to prevent the revision surgery and what is that? What are they? Whether failure or success, it should be a degradable within the human body itself. That is that. Uh, 2010 uh, onwards, we have started the degradable materials for medical field. I think you know, right? The government also banned the plastics right now because of the more plastic, more pollutions, and all. You know, right? We have the degradable separately for that our waste bag, everything in that. So the same scenario, we have to come with the medical field also. We need the degradable material, new degradable materials, new innovations, new degradable implants. So that is the idea for my uh, topic today. So first of all. Uh, <coughs> Now this is for uh, what is biodegradable material? Like uh, you know, right? Uh, um, as I said, right? Biodegradable material, uh, uh, like uh, where we can use that right? degradable biomaterial for uh, uh, huge applications. You can see that uh, um, uh, 20 years back, uh, if you you know, right? Uh, your grandmother and whatever that once if you done the surgery, what is that actually? Doctor will be asked after 15 days, one week, what they said actually. You have to again, you have to come and remove that your stitch, right? And suture also. Now, the what is the surgery for the new technique suturing material and all? It should be degradable. We don't, you don't want to go for any remove the sutures, right? So that is that uh, good things for that uh, technology for that biodegradable material. So that's the idea where we can use like uh, medicines. You know, right? Uh, 
best example dollar uh, 650 everyone know that yes if you go talk about the degradable material degradation time is very important if i inhale that if you take that dollar 650 how much time for taking for that within the 30 minutes degradation for the human body right suppose if you just imagine that if i have that uh, what do you call that dollar 650 Next day will be for your uh, fever recover. How? What is the use of this dollar six fifty? You got a point, right? So the degradation free didn't mind. That is very important role play for that uh, degradation time and free didn't mind for the materials. So that's the idea. So where if we say about the degradable material, what is that actually? The implant, even though if you have the implant or medicine or any surgery, you should be pre determined with that your body. That's a very very important role for the biodegradable. Materials and the application. So, we said like I said, right? So, degraded with the body over the pre-determined implementation period. Yes, the particular time should be degraded within the 30 minutes. Your matter particle will react on that your material and should be degradation. Otherwise, it's rest of the degradation material. So, I'll explain that how to that. Uh, basically, you know, right? Uh, biomaterials. Uh, uh, if I say about that biomaterials in any synthetic and natural material, right? You know, right? Natural material or synthetic material. It's a two types of material having that. we have to that uh, replace with your human body is the biomaterial right so the it should be degradable within the particular time and take for the degradation rates and this is the biodegradable material usually uh, biodegradable material like uh, metals like uh, polymers and then ceramics these are the some classification of the metal so if i say about that uh, uh, metal like uh, you know right like many of the metals having that uh, titanium stainless steel cobalt chromium All metals having that uh, uh, metallic implants, like uh, how to fabricate that metal. Right? So I think you guys are more right. I think one of the medical company, Paul company, you know, right? So uh, still challenging for the degradable fabrications for we facing on that uh, market. So what is that actually? If we go for the micro electro mechanical system, means yes or no? Have you heard about the means technique, right? If you want to take the like uh, orthopedic implant, dental screw. what we can do right first of all we have to go for the designing right so for example you know right dental doctor if we go for that your screw we don't have that same screw for the delivery one we have the separate screw right so we are the, taking the cad model on that and you can go for the printing on the cad machine and then we can take it the fabrication like using lithographic technique like x ray lithography uv lithography or x ray lithography which is the your material properties we can go for that uh, uh, particular techniques like uh, and the polymer uh, i know right polymer i think everyone know right i'm not saying about the basic fundamental we have the two types of polymer like uh, synthetic and natural of course you know right natural is that our uh, plant extraction and uh, what is that actually natural body having that polymer like uh, uh, cellulose sucrose and some of the few polymers and, and other than degradable polymer yes that is a very important role play for the particular like a suturing material and the contact lenses and the cardiac wall for coronary arteries wall replacement the skin grafts yeah. so many things we have to go for the polymer so how we can fabricate the polymer there are certain plenty of methods are available in that like the uh, electro spinning method is the one of the famous technique for that uh, uh, polymer fabrication for electro spinning like uh, you know right now that people are going for that uh, nano technology based yes, so a uh, simple example i can say right for example if i insert an implant in the human body like a titanium implant or a stainless steel implant so Uh, if you done the surgery today for example uh, the patient having that uh, you know right before surgery what is that actually we supposed to give the anesthesia right yes or no why we want to give the anesthesia because we don't get the pain right so that is the idea of the anesthesia part okay so once if you given the anesthesia what will happen that the patient should be what is that there is no pain on that like a central nervous system will block right so what will happen after recover the two days we will getting the pain on that patient right yes or no so what is that after the 3 4 weeks and uh, we want to prevent the pain what is the uh, doctor will be suggested pain killer yes or no right so this is the idea if you are taking the pain killer what is the side effect for that the entire if you are taking that dolosexpupi or pain killer whatever that the metabolic everything human body will react to yes or no so the idea of that implant what you can write we have to go for that some modification with the nano composite surface modification with the drug coated on that implants are you clear in what i'm going to write so the pain killer coated with the implant okay i just keep on that particular inside on the implant so what will happen actually the pain only for the particular portion will be reacting not for entire body you know right that is a technique for german universities are 
now they're searching for that uh, the painkiller will be coated with the tin plant and it should be slowly degradable and what will happen the pain only for that particular portions where we keep the tin plant like that some that technique are using in that german and us people at india now that looking on that particular uh, we are some challenging on that for uh, corrosion and uh, some other uh, properties having that uh, degradable impact so the polymer and uh, silicon based i think you know right many application like a central nervous one, system cardiovascular system and is musculoskeletal system and others like one, so one, three, we have the many uh, three, application three, for based on that uh, degradable implants <coughs> basic first of all uh, basic properties like uh, if i want to uh, take some product like any implant product uh, the thing is first we should know that uh, properties of the material yes or no any material i am saying about the biomedical if you go for any mechanical or electronics whatever things should be a is a basic properties for that your material like uh, what do you call that physical properties chemical properties and what is that other uh, what is called that mechanical properties these are things very very important uh, properties we have to check that uh, material without properties we can't uh, uh, use that any application but if you say about the biomedical like uh, biological properties very important both way for that uh, material implants are pretty important everything. okay so how do you check that uh, uh, um, biological properties there are some Uh, technique like in vitro techniques and in vivo techniques we are using that uh, laboratory to say about that uh, in vitro techniques like we have so called the cell culture technique and uh, simulated body fluid solutions and some other technique we can use check that material is biocompatibility or not okay and we have go for the animal model and then clinical trial right? so these are the some basic uh, uh, parameter for we are using that for property so uh, especially for the map uh, implants like uh, for example metallic implant is very important role play for the mechanical properties i think you know like our human body is a biomechanics like a movement right so where we can find that like you know guys i think you know right young smaller sensitive strain behavior these things are all very important parameter for you are making that implant is but still we don't have that equivalent to the young smaller of the human bone right you know right human bone model we don't know that uh, 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 material for that we are using just similar to that like a titanium stainless steel cobalt chromium nickel titanium based on that material so that is that uh, we people are will searching on that new techniques on that uh, bio materials and bio medicals in plants <coughs> and uh, this is some recent uh, interesting for uh, applications like uh, uh, bio degradable material application i think you can see that uh, where we can use like uh, nano composite based degradable like uh, Contact lenses and uh, cardiovascular, like uh, coronary artery development, for the grafting and the PLA PGA materials and uh, some suturing with the PGA with the PLA types of materials and uh, dental screws. Okay, some of that uh, like uh, PLA based on that uh, dental screws, orthopedic screws, and uh, what do you call that coronary artery valve replacements, skin grafting and uh, nerve conductions, generation regenerations, vascular replacements. So. these are some huge interesting application for that uh, uh, biodegradable materials and uh, these are that uh, uh, like you know right uh, transfer thermal delivery like uh, if you look at that uh, uh, 10 years back what is that actually we don't know the plastic surgery if you don't the plastic surgery what we can do right we replace with the something now now the collagen and protein we extract from the plants and animal model we collagen so we just apply on that we have what is that skin your original skin we can recover on nowadays that much of uh, degradable materials available now this in that uh, transdermal uh, regeneration medicines <coughs> and uh, this is some uh, interesting one uh, uh, we have the uh, biodegradable material for uh, uh, many things what is that uh, actually we actually we are doing some interesting one for example uh, polymers and uh, what is the covid 19 like uh, we are using some uh, drug coated with the covid 19 for that uh, uh, biomaterials like uh, biodegradable materials and polymer 3d printing like the pla based materials i think one of that our medicor company also they are making for uh, polylactic acid based on that uh, orthopedic screws dental screws and what is that actually some plates orthopedic plates degradable material that is we tested with in utero level for uh, uh, 3d printing techniques and drug delivery yes we have that use for that nano drug delivery medicines 
and uh, polymer base for the degradation materials and the antibacterial tissue engineering. Like uh, you know, right? Uh, uh, tissue engineering is the regenerative medicine is the one of the next level field on that in uh, India. So if I have any uh, particular area, we are making like a bone cartilage scaffold on that uh, pore size, nano pore size, and uh, we kept uh, we coated with uh, some modification with your material and keep it with that your bone model and uh, it should be a degradable material like a PLA. Okay. So what will happen actually if that uh, osteo integration, right? You know, right? Without any bony tissues, we form the osteo integration. So it should be a, like a, what will happen actually the uh, that bone growth on that and the material should be degradation on that. So what is that actually usually for that uh, PLA material is for the slow degradation. So we want to overcome that. We have just nano composited on that material and we have to the for parallelly bone flow cutter and degradation rate for that. That is one of the new technique for the tissue engineering. We are making the cartilages, bone scaffold, and uh, other types of material applications. And uh, this for uh, various industry for that uh, biomedical, uh, biodegradable material applications like uh, biodegradable polymer, like uh, uh, where we can agriculture, electronics, and uh, like nano generators, and medical field, especially for that. Uh, uh, what do you call that? The cartilage regeneration, blood flexion, stent, and drug loading, surgical sutures, and the biomedical applications, and biomass transformation. So these are the some variety of applications. I can say that uh, start from your head to up to leg, we have to use for the many kind of applications in the biodegradable material. Okay, so in that uh, biodegradable material, what is the various type of biodegradable material? Like the magnesium, one of the famous for the magnesium material, right? So. It's like a biodegradable method, but uh, even though if you are a biodegradable material, what is that uh, disadvantage of that biodegradable magnesium material? Like corrosions. You know, right? If I once implanted that biodegradable, the magnesium we can make cardiac stain, orthopedic screw, any type of material we can use for the magnesium is a good biocompatible. But only the problem is that corrosions. So how we can overcome this corrosion for the magnesium? Uh, all the magnesium only for A is it magnesium, aluminium, zirconium based magnesium is used only medical field as per the ASTM. Uh, according to the standard. So what will happen actually, we just use for the some ceramic material, right? Uh, I think you heard about like uh, one of the hydroxy apartheid, right? So before coming that hydroxy apartheid, what is the material we use the calcium phosphate, right? So the hydroxy apartheid, the nano ceramics, we coated with magnesium alloy, and what will happen actually, this material will be held to that osteogenetics. So this will be integrated for the bone integration and it's a regeneration for the bone growth factor and it's overcome on that your material for Reduce the corrosion rate for the, we studied about the one paper, right? So this is of the one of the recent advancement for magnesium material. And uh, what is the main advantage of this material actually? Low cost devices for the magnesium. Okay, so and some interesting thing like uh, magnesium uh, cardiac stain based screw and uh, what is the cardiac stain and uh, orthopedic screw? These are the some interesting reason advancement for the biodegradable material applications. And uh, what is that? Uh, uh, main advantage of this uh, biodegradable material is only for the surface modification. I think many of them know, you know about that surface modification. Any idea why we want to keep the surface modification? Anything, anybody? So, because uh, uh, you know, right, uh, implant is uh, any implant, like especially for that uh, any implant without surface modification, what will happen actually? The less biocompatibility. So, what we can do, right? We modify the surface with your suitable material properties like a biocompatibility or any other things we have to go for the surface modification. There are uh, plenty of surface modification techniques is there. If we say about the metal means we can go for the PVD, CVD and polymer like electro spinning, spin coating and many of the method we have that uh, surface modification. So the what is that actually we as I said that pre-determined time period for the dedication phase. These things and then we can, uh, we have to go for uh, with the help of the surface modification and thing. Suppose magnesium is the most corrosion rate on that material, right? What we can do, right? We have to go for with the hydroxy or other composite coating on that your magnesium material. And uh, we'll prevent the corrosion rate on that your uh, material and increase the biocompatibility and it is useful for that your medical implant application. These are the some things. Sir. As I told you, right, uh, drug coated, that is also we can perform with that any polymer or metallic material. So, that is the main idea of the surface modification. I think after 2000, the people are many, many implant for that. Uh, we are using that uh, surface modification technique. And uh, <coughs> yes, even though if you are surface modified, the biocompatibility is very important. Yes, because biocompatibility, we can't do that any uh, 
uh, biomedical application. So the biocompatibility is very important for the biocompatibility. So what you can do, right? You have to check that your material should be a biocompatibility and other things in the sort that your material. And uh, yes, we have that osteo integration. Like osteo integration means what is that actually? Osteo means bone, right? Without any bone <coughs> tissue, it forming the bone growth factor. That is called that osteo integration. Yes or no? So what is that osteo integration means? So we want to increase the bone growth on that if the implant if you keep it on that body. So that the many is actually. So any implant, if you are going for like a, a bone implant or dental implant, it's a, especially for that your osteo integration is the very important role. So we find that some uh, like a, a bioabsorbable ceramics material that is the one of the famous for that uh, increasing the osteo integration, like uh, uh, zirconia and hydroxia for that. Some other polymer and ceramics material we coated with that to your uh, surface polymer shaping to increase that osteo integration. And also we published some papers on that same one. And next level is degradations. Yes, degradation is very uh, challenging one for that our uh, research biodegradable material because of the degradation studies. We we many things we uh, did in the degradation study, but we have the some challenges with that uh, magnesium based alloy. So if the material degradable, is it fast on that material? But what will happen actually? The thing is actually for that uh, uh, we, it is equivalent to that our human body. So. We still still will try with that for the magnesium composite based on the making for the degradations. <coughs> what are the challenging for that uh, product? That is that uh, uh, because I'm not more much more of the subject. This is the very important where we can go for that uh, challenging and uh, uh, product based on that. As I told you, right in India is that uh, very difficult to assess that uh, uh, many things like that. Three D printing, metal three D printing is very very difficult to assess that. Uh, Facilities. I think I I spoke to him that Paul and other team is actually to cast on that metal building. If I want to make the titanium and the stainless steel or magnesium, what will happen actually? It's like a one close for that for making the implant and that. It's very difficult to assess that. And even though we have the 3D printing technique for that, you are the what do you call that? You are the uh, normal polymer materials and all. Uh, again, you have to if you only PLA is that suitable for that 3D printing. What about the other composites like? Uh, Nano ceramics material and other things are done. It's very difficult to take for the three D printing design. So still moving on the technique. We are only a challenging phase on that uh, marketing for that uh, product based on that three D printing commercialization. And uh, what is that actually? Uh, the available of three D printing is very very less for the material properties. Even though we have the three D printing, like PLA material based printing, lot of like in Flipkart and Amazon we have available, but. Uh, so if you want to change the material, it's difficult to get that 3D printing because material properties is different. So that is the one of the challenging we face around the uh, product based and the commercialization product. I think maybe I think this even maybe help to that uh, like uh, some Masar and other team how to commercialization like a bit of funding and uh, what is that challenging for the commercial product and the clinical trial because ethical committee because other other branches sometimes easily we can take the product but in biomaterials and biomedical. We have the you know right COVID is that two years for taking for that uh, clinical trial. The same for that our the medical field also. If we go for the implant or anything else, we get that first clinical clearance and uh, what is that actually human ethical clearance and clinical trial. Many formalities and applications and all there. So these are the some challenging we face on the commercialization of the product and uh, investors. We found the some investors even though we have that any product, but the investor is very important for your uh, product. What is that uh, 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 availability of your product and the sales and all that? So this some uh, challenging phase around that our uh, research to that uh, product commercialization. This is we actually our research uh, uh, done our our dream like uh, we are making some uh, degradable cardiac stent uh, PLA polymer uh, based on the nano composites and orthopedic screws uh, degradable implants and uh, dental implants dental screws. And uh, some of the some adhesive bandage like uh, natural polymer green synthesis. These are the some product we are making uh, in that our laboratory. <coughs> this is our uh, product. Uh, this is color for doing that uh, uh, orthopedic screw. I think that uh, orthopedic screw we developed and uh, successfully completed. We are uh, going for that animal study for the next week. So. Hopefully, we'll be on this one. And uh, second one is the screw we are making, and we're making the dental screw for with the nano composite based materials. 
and the third one is the bandage for the color making and these are the some business outcome for our uh, laboratory and this is for recent product we uh, developed actually one of the recently we granted patent for that uh, dental implants so this is our uh, area of uh, research this is our supporters collaborator for like uh, Paul company and some other VAT and the Stemon project limiters these are the some other collaborator for university company and everything so Thanks for that.